Alright, so welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Summer for 4. So today, guys, I'm going to give you guys my quick match review for USA versus El Salvador. So the game will take place at tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. This will be the final CONCACAF Nations League group game. And if USA gets at least a draw tomorrow, USC will be guaranteed to be in the CONCACAF Nations League semifinals. And for El Salvador, both nations have already qualified to the Gold Cup. And this will pretty much determine the top spot in the group. So as you guys can see right here, and the standings here in particular, as you guys can see right here, uh, USA is currently first with 7 points. El Salvador is second with 5 points. So as I said, it's going to come down to the final match day. Whereas USA, at least to get a point, they will be guaranteed... A spot in the CONCACAF Nations League Final Four. Okay? So this will be very interesting to see what happens, of course. El Salvador, for that to happen, they have to basically win away at the United States. USA are coming off their big 7-1 win over Grenada yesterday. Well, actually on Friday night, when they scored seven goals. So we're going to go look into this. Because for me, El Salvador will actually be a much better t team than Grenada. El Salvador is actually a team that is world... Uh, uh, pedigree, you know, we struggled against them in the World Cup qualifiers. I believe we actually uh, scored only one goal against them in the process of the World Cup qualifiers. One nil at home and nil nil draw on the road. So El Salvador do actually, they can get a result here, potentially a draw. And then thing with El Salvador is that they're very defensively sound. This team is difficult to break down defensively speaking. And we struggled against them in the World Cup qualifiers. So there's no guarantee that we're going to easily win this. In fact, I would actually argue that we're going to struggle a lot in this game. You know, we even saw in the reverse fixture when we played against them, um, we struggled to break them down. You know, they had five shots, one on target. We had ten shots, six on target, and we were only able to score one goal. And we had to require a last-minute goal from Jordan Morris to secure all three points for us. I mean, secure a draw for us, put it this way. So, it's very, very interesting to see what happens here, okay? So, let's go and look at the team selection. So, goalkeeper, obviously, Matt Turner, I would imagine so, in this game. Right back will be Serginho Dest. Um, he should start this game. Left back Robinson. I don't think Anthony Hudson will make that rotation. And then I think we're going to see Mark McKenzie start. And then I think we're going to see Tim Ream start. Um, and the C C CDM, I think we're going to see Luca De La Torre start. And the center man McKenney. And then I think we're going to see Musa start this one, actually. Maybe Aaron semi start, but I'm going to go with Musa. Striker, Pepe, of course. Came off the brace in the last game. Right wing will obviously be Reina. And the left wing will be Pulisic. So, obviously, El Salvador, their most integral players are obviously um, Alex Rodon. He's the brother of Christian Rodon, by the way. You look at um, Enrico Fernandez. Their goalkeeper is also pretty good. Joshua Perez is decent as well. Uh, the big concern I have with El Salvador is that they can't really score enough goals. So my prediction for this game, guys, is I'm going to go for a 2-0 United States win. I think Pulisic will get on the score sheet, and hopefully we can see Pepe score as well. Pulisic and Pepe, I think both of them will score their goals. Let me know your predictions in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out. Everyone, guys, to like and subscribe.